Welcome back for another amazing Sunday School lesson. But where's Chris? I think I'm going to have to wait for him to come. He's in the first segment. But while I'm waiting, maybe you guys can help me out. I'm going to pick a book to read while I'm waiting. I love to read. So let me get some books and you can tell me which one to pick. Here's some books from my shelf. I have this really plain black one over here and I have this beautiful Antarctic book. I love penguins. Maybe this is the book I should choose. What do you think? This one or this one? Yeah, I thought so. Let me check this one out. This one looks really exciting. Wait a minute. This isn't what I thought. There's no pictures in here and it's really boring. Wow, I really got fooled by the cover. Let me take a look at this other one. Hey, this isn't what I expected either. This one's really exciting. It has great adventures and really interesting characters. It even has treasure. Wow, I can't wait to read this one. You know, I guess I shouldn't have really judged a book by its cover. Sometimes people judge each other by what they see on the outside. But not God. God looks at the inside. In today's lesson, we're going to learn more about how God looks at the heart. judge one another based on outward appearance, just the way I judge this book based on its outward appearance. But God sees through what's on the outside and sees to what's on the inside. Well, it's kind of like an x-ray. It allows us to see through the outside to see what's on the inside. So is that what God sees inside? Well, not exactly. This is just an illustration. If God did see inside you in this way, he'd be seeing a lot of popcorn and candy and cake. <laughs> but anyway, this isn't exactly the way God sees inside. When God looks inside, that means he sees our thoughts. He sees our heart, our desires, our longings. He knows everything about us. The Bible says he knows every thought that we have. And he even knows our needs before we ask him. <laughs> Let's look at a little activity to better understand how God sees the heart. Well, Chris, we're going to do a little activity to illustrate just how God views the heart. Well, I have these three gifts. I have this beautiful red shiny gift. I have this plain brown and black box. And I have this super size too. So the question is, which of these would you most like to open? One of them has a prize inside. Quickly, tell me which one. This one, this one, this one. It's right. huge. It's got to have a huge prize inside. Okay. Ready, go. Mm. Oh, there's nothing in there. Wrong one, Chris. I'm going to give you one more chance to choose your present and find that prize. What do you think? Do you want this shiny red one? Or this plain old one? Shiny red one. Shiny red one. Okay, it's all yours. Ready, go. Oh, it's empty too. Sorry, Chris, you didn't choose wisely. You should have chosen the plain brown box because inside this box is the prize. Some delicious marshmallows. So just because something looks impressive on the outside doesn't mean there's anything of value on the inside. People often look at what's on the outside and make a judgment based on that. But we have to use more discernment, more insight than that. We have to choose carefully. God chose carefully when he was choosing the next king for his people. He didn't choose the person based on whether they were tall or strong or good-looking. He looked inside each person to see if they would have faith and they would follow him, to see if they would be brave and stand up for him. God wanted to pick someone with the right stuff inside. 
He didn't care about the outside like most people do. In the Bible, in the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 16, God spoke to one of his prophets, the prophet Samuel. He told Samuel to go to the house of a man named Jesse and to anoint one of his sons to be the next king. When Samuel arrived there, he prepared a sacrifice as God commanded. Jesse and his sons came to the sacrifice too. When Samuel saw Eliab, he thought to himself, this must be the one. You see, Eliab was the oldest son, probably the tallest and large, and, and so Samuel mistakenly thought that he was the one that was going to be the king, because Samuel was looking at outward appearance. But God told Samuel, no, Samuel was judging by outward appearance. Then Jesse brought in all of his other sons, one by one. All seven of them were presented before the prophet Samuel but none of them were chosen by God to be the next king. Finally, Samuel asked Jesse, do you have any more sons? And Jesse said he had one more son, the youngest, who was out tending the sheep. They sent for this youngest son, David, and when he came in, he was the one. He was the one that God wanted to be the next king. They sent for him and finally he arrived. God said, this is the one, anoint him. So Samuel poured olive oil on David and the Spirit of God came upon him. So when Samuel went to Jesse's house, Samuel mistakenly thought that the oldest son or even some of the other older sons might be the one God wanted. He might be the next king, but Samuel was mistaken. He judged a book by its cover like we learned at the beginning. He looked at the outward appearance. God saw the heart. God knew that David, the youngest and smallest in this family, would be the one to have the most love for God, would have a strong faith, and would be willing to be brave and stand up for God. God says this in 1 Samuel chapter 16. The Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. That's what we're learning about today in our lesson. God looks beyond anything on the outside and he sees everything on the inside. He sees who we really are. And in this case, he knew David would be a faithful follower and David would be a mighty man of God. You know, this David is the same David that fought Goliath, the huge giant. And David wasn't afraid to do that. You remember the story, I'm sure. And when everyone else was afraid, even David's older brothers were all afraid to go face that giant, David was not because he went out there in the strength and the power of the Lord. He had faith in God. So God knew what he was doing when he chose David to be the next king. God could see what no one else could see. God could see inside his heart. And of course we know David went on in later years to become the king of God's people. So we need to remember the way that God sees us and the way that God sees others. We need to be like God and not judge others by their outward appearance. We should try to see what's going on on the inside, get to know the person, look at people the way that God looks at them. Let's pray together for a moment. Dear Lord, Please help each and every one of us to see people the way you see them, to see their heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So this week, let's remember not to judge people by their outward appearance. It's what's on the inside that counts for them and for us.